Hi guys, it's Josh, Animal Fact Faker. We're out here in the outback of Australia. Today, I'm tying my shoe behind this plant right here. And um, it's a lovely plant, it's a eucalyptus tree. And if you come over here, I noticed something. Right over here, come quick. <coughs> you look under here, there's these little shells swirled up on them. Now, these shells, they may look like a snail shell or some type like that. However, they're not. They're actually the, uh, they're box jellyfish shells. Now, you may be thinking, why are there box jellyfish shells in the middle of the outback? Well, I'll tell you. The, uh, reason is there's a special type of box jellyfish called the land box jellyfish and so they lay the eggs and their eggs form into a shell they grow in a shell and they leave the shell and then they'll walk off and do things some of them like to work at convenience stores but um yeah so today we'll be looking for the mother box jellyfish land box jellyfish of course and uh we'll get looking but uh, first, let's cut to a commercial break. Hey, you kids, get off my lawn. What's up, mates? Josh here again. I was just tying my shoes behind that bamboo right there. Now, come look at this. I noticed this while we were looking for a land box jellyfish. Right here, or all over, there are onions. Australian onions. Now, let's see if we can find, get one out of the ground. They're very tough little buggers to uproot. Um, little known fact about the onion. Ah, hit one, I think. Yeah, here we go. The onion is actually part of the brick family, but it's in a different phylum. But anyway, yeah, here's an onion. Also, a little known fact about onions, when you find them in the grocery stores, they um, are much bigger than this, obviously, but uh, that's because in the factories, after they pick all these onions, they will peel off their little shell and then they use a giant maker machine. 5,000, I believe, is the model they use in the onion factories, and they make them much larger. Um, it's a very interesting process. I've seen it firsthand. My grandfather used to be an onion worker. Very interesting. Anyway, we'll uh, carry on looking for the lamb box version jellyfish. Come this way. Now, um, I've talked to a couple of natives. Um, Aborigines, and they said they have seen a land box jellyfish wandering around, so uh, that's a good sign. So, hopefully, we'll be able to find one soon. Uh, we're gonna have to cross this river, might need to find a boat. So, uh, get back to you when I find a boat. Thanks. All right, we I found a boat, it's a nice boat. We're going across. This little river. I couldn't find any oil, so I'm having to use my hands. That's all right. Oh, mate! Look at this. It's a snake. Oh. Oh. Look at this. This is a needle-headed python. Man, I hate this thing's wild. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's trying to bite me. Ah. Let's get rid of that thing. These things are crazy. Very common though. Um. Oh, look at that. It's a little bug. I'm gonna keep this. All right, we're almost across. All right, check this out. Come over here. I uh, discovered some cactus out here in the outback. Um, chilling here. It's very common, obviously. It's in Australia. But, um, 
These things are actually really poisonous, so you shouldn't touch them. Right here in their little holes, they have thousands of little bobs. Look at that. I got some in my hand. These things are very, very lethal. About 12 people die from them every second. Um, these things are killer, mates. So uh, avoid these touching those cactus. They're beautiful, beautiful plants, though. But what's that in the distance, guys? Look at this down here, mate. I think it's our jellyfish. There it is down there, guys. We'll get it to you after the break. Hey, I'm Witten, and I sell canine attack dogs. The best canine attack dogs. Oh! Get back, you thing! Back, I say! Back, I said. I'm Witten. And I sell canine attack dogs. What's up, mates? All right, the box jellyfish is right there. So let's go and uh, check it out. We gotta be careful that it doesn't sting us, um, or we'll, we'll be in a lot of pain. That. This here is your land box jellyfish. All of these blue things will electrocute you to death, mate. Um, this thing is wild. It can deal up to 24,000 volts of electricity. Um, so I won't be touching it, but these things are beautiful creatures. Um, when they feed, which is what it's doing right now, they'll... Uh, stick their tentacles into the ground and they'll go into the ground and their tentacles are right, this one's tentacle it's actually coming up right here and um kind of floating around it's beautiful mate um as you can see this one's probably in a gang it has all types of weird tattoos all over it like what a slow recycle rat mean that must be a gang um but yeah it's really tragic around the age of 13 these things will um find themselves getting into all types of trouble out here in Australia. It's a big problem. The government's trying to stop it, but um, so much you can do, you know. Maybe. Sad, but anyway, this one's just feeding. It'll probably finish feeding, but uh, lastly, if you look right here, that it has a type of mohawk figuring, and uh, that's actually what it uses when it makes hot dogs. The big fans of hot dogs, these things, mate. It's ridiculous. Like, you wouldn't think. Just because they, they don't really have a way to eat it other than sticking in the ground. So what they do is they make hot dogs with this thing. And then they'll bury them in the ground and then eat it just so that they can eat hot dogs. Um, but that's about it, mate. It's a wonderful land box jellyfish. Beautiful creatures. I'm really glad we got to see one. I could show you one. Uh, it's great. So, see you guys next time. Josh, Animal Fact Faker.